BJ, oh my god, are you okay? I'm great. I'm better than great. I'm the best I've ever been. Um, okay. The last show, you stood up, you spit yes. on me a little bit, and you yelled at Leroy Jenkins, and then yes. you ran out, and we didn't see you for 36 hours. Yes. We had to put the show on hiatus. The crew had to go home without pay because they didn't have anything to do. You know, and we just I, had to wait for you? I'm tired of pretending like I'm not a freaking rock star from Mars. BJ, are you in the Charlie Sheen zone? No, 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 no. I'm, if anything, Charlie Sheen is in the BJ Nemeth zone. I've been doing this long before him. 2008 WSOP, you don't know where I was. You don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Were you with Charlie Sheen? No, Charlie Sheen doesn't even know. Okay. It's like this whole other plane of existence, like the terrestrial mind, you can't even comprehend. Okay, I don't think I can wrap my mind around it, but I can wrap my mind about radical terrestrial planes because we have got a massive Bitchin'. show on our hands. Bitchin'. We are going to talk about not one, not two, but two and a half final tables with Jess and BJ. Jess and BJ. All right, we cleared that up. Let's Winning. do this. All right, so you may be wondering what's the half all about. So we got the Invitational final table that wrapped up today. Over there. And then tomorrow, we have more than just a final table. We have like an a uh and a half <laughs> final table because we have Carlos going for his fourth title. El Matador with the tiger blood in his veins and the Adonis DNA. He knows what I'm talking about. Okay, and then we have Vivek, also tiger blood flowing through his veins with the six bedding and the shipping and the back shoving. I uh, he's going none for of that. title number two. We got a bunch of internet kids, big names, lots of play. It's going to be awesome. So, okay, but first things for that you're getting ahead. Okay, this is true. We got a lot of ground to cover. And we kind of got a place to be afterwards. We heard there's a really rad party. Winning. Playboy Winning. Mansion. So, invitational. Let's wrap this up. All right. All right, so we came into today. We had our draft going. Yep, I had two women on my team. Who did not Chess win. Chess masters, no they did not. Somebody else did the winning. I don't even know how that happens. I've won this thing. I always pick the winner. This time you picked the winner. Like how did you, how did you do that? What did you change? How did you do? Um, I blinked and I cured myself. Cured my brain. Wow, that's, yeah. wow. So I picked the winner, Davidi Katai of Belgium. I think probably our first Belgian WPT champion. No idea. We'll go with it. Uh, and then your your girl, Almira. Elmira. 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 My... Skripchenko did finish second, which we have a settle up. The bookie set a line. We had two women at the final table. The line was set at two and a half. A woman had to finish better than two and a half. We both took the better, and we both won because Elmira Skripchenko finished second runner up. Winning. Deep breath. <sighs> All right. I won that because I had Davidi in the win, and while you had Almira as the runner-up, you right. also had in sixth place Dinara Kazayeva, and in fifth place Damon Schram. Yeah, sorry, chip leader sixth out. and fifth. We had the chip. Everybody had the chip lead at some point in time, yeah. except Dinara. The um, problem was my my two chess masters got in a big pot early, and you know nearly even in chips, one of them had to pay, and uh, Almira sucked out in a big spot. Two pair against higher two pair, and she caught the four. Yeah, Dinara's face melted off. She went out in sixth. Yeah. All right. So then I had George Recknitzer in Recknitzer. fourth, Dan Heimiller in third. Dan Divin. freaking Heimiller. Winner, winner, chicken dinner doing winning with winning. the gingers. He did not win, but he is full of winning. All right. So. Yes. Invitational kind of speedy. Lost people early on, three-handed. <laughs> Pay slowed down but a bit. But then it slowed. It got and numb. then, swoop, we're done. Swoop. Not going to be the case tomorrow. No, 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 no. Because talking we, about our one and a half final table. Yeah, the one. Yeah. Moving on now. We're we're good with the invitational, right? Okay. Yes. Good. All good. Congratulations, Davidi. Good tie. And congratulations, me, winning. because we are now tied with the winning in terms of final table drafts. We're tied. Yeah, because I won uh, Festa, and then I won this, and you won Biloxi and Five Diamond. Ah, you blink in your brain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, we won. Fair and square. No more complaining. Even no more. One of yours was Thankfully, we didn't bet anything this time, so I don't really owe you anything. All right. Anyways, well, we've taken care of that final table, but before we can even get to the one and a half final, final table, table, we have to get to the final table, and we had an over-under on Kathy Lieber, who entered the day 17th out of 18 in chips, and could she go further than 12th place or not? You took the over saying she wouldn't, and I took the under saying she would. More winning! 
Poor yeah, Kathy, Kathy didn't went out make right it. away in 18th place. Jeremy like, Fish got her. The tournament started and bam, Kathy Liebert was gone. Was I crazy. lost that one quick. But I'm still winning. Still winning. She's still winning. Pong. Yeah. All right. Uh, we lost her. We lost Jason Sentai. What? We lost. Let's What's skip that? ahead. We're skipping ahead. We're skipping ahead. We don't know who's at the final table, but we know they're deep. We know they have a lot of big blinds. Oh, okay. Let's you do want our over Let's get this out of the way. Do it now. All right. Do it now. Okay. All right, we'll do Come on, it. I got one speed, I got one gear, go! Okay then. Let's um, do this. I will take... What is this? Tell them what this is. Oh, sorry. I got so caught up in the speed and the... Yes, mm. I'm not on okay. speed. I'm not on drugs. 36 hands. They're very deep at the final table. A lot of big blinds. 36 hands. Will the first bust out happen sooner than this? That would be lower. Or later than this? That'll be higher. Can I go first? Can I? Okay, I should. Go ahead. I should. Go ahead. All right. Even though they're deep, these players like to mix it up. Somebody's gonna mix it up early. Somebody's going home early. I'm taking the under on 36 hands, first bust out. I am taking the scientific approach of saying play down day was really flipping fast. We have to have a day that's really flipping slow. Going over. Over, what are you, on drugs? Yeah, BJ, I am on a drug called Jessica Wellman. It's not available, because once you try it, you're gonna die. Die? Yeah, your face will melt off and your dog Rhapsody will weep over your body. Your exploded body. That's so mean. All now, right. That's why it's not available. You can't handle Jessica Wellman. I don't think I can. Okay, but who's at the final table? Who's not at the final table? Okay, well, Jason Kathy Sentai, out. not at the final table. Jason Sentai busted. Uh, we also don't have Alan Cunningham. Alan Cunningham out on a bad beat. Ace-10 versus King-10. King-10 made a flush. Not the only one out on a bad beat. Lots of bad beats. We had yeah. him on a bad beat. Bakes, TV bubbled there. The three-way. The three- Ooh. The goddesses are here? No, not that kind of three-way. Oh, three-way all in. Yeah, three-way all in. Winning. It was- It was pretty bad. Pretty winning rigament here <laughs> because we had- uh, Shannon Shore all in with aces. James Carroll all, all in, in with, with kings. kings. Carlos Mortensen all in with queens. And those of you who know that a three-way works best with that is Carlos three somehow found a way. Three-ways work best with ladies, and so the queens won. Uh, the matter. How did they win? Uh, spade, spade, spade. Only spade on the table was the queen of spades. I got a cool shot where like their flop came out, and they're all kind of scanning their cards to see who's got the spade. Carlos had the only spade. Turns the flush. And That's all she wrote. We're done. And at the same time, this happened with 12 players left. At the next table, there was a hand in progress. They lost somebody. We lost three people in a row going from 12 to 9, which actually speeds up the day a lot because when you're playing 11-handed, you got to play hand for hand at two tables. That slows it down. And then when you settle in at 10-handed, that slows things down because you got so many people at the table. I think that was a factor in speeding up the day. Probably. Very good assessment. Focus. All right, so we summed Focus. up what we summed up what happened. Yes. I think it's time to move on to what's going to happen. Ah, we talked about who busted. Now we're talking about who made it. You're talking about let's do the final table draft. Uh huh. Rochambeau. American rules one two shoot. Let's do this. Bring it. Winning. 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 That's right, someone does all the winning around here. Uh, and I'm gonna keep doing the winning because I'm gonna take. Wait, the... we got two guys at the top of the stacks. We do. Chip leaders, Carlos Mortensen has a little bit more than Vivek. Carlos Mortensen. He has like half a big blind more than Vivek. It's not, they're basically neck dead and even. neck. Carlos Mortensen, Vivek Rajkumar, you have the number one draft pick, Team Jessica Wellman. They're both super solid, don't get me wrong. But this really comes down to one thing. Not one thing. BJ Neiman? I'm looking at it. Winning. Your finger. Winning. You know who does more winning? Carlos Mortensen. Carlos Mortensen's big on the winning. He's done this three times with the winning. So, I think this is the time for the record, the number four, more winning. We're talking about winning. There's all sorts of winning. Carlos Mortensen is winning. Jessica Miss Click Wellman. Little Miss Online Pro fan knows everything about everybody. You've got an online pro in Vivek Rajkumar. You got a live pro in Carlos Mortensen. Nearly even in chips. You pick Carlos Mortensen? What are you, bipolar? BJ, I'm not bipolar. By winning. By winning. Winning. By winning. All right, I get two picks. You do. All right, two picks. I am picking. Vivek Rajkumar. You Good left pick. him on the table for me. 
Like Carlos, nobody knows what's he gonna, what he's going to do or where. He's unpredictable, and that's why people like him. He speaks the truth. He's got the tiger blood, too. He'll pounce. You'll never see him coming. Maybe not as much on the Adonis DNA, but this kid's got game. He's going to do it. He is my number one pick. Number two overall, Vivek Rashkumar. But he's still going to take it. He's going to take down El Matador. He is the bull. I just realized Vivek is the bull, and the bull is going to win. My second pick is Daryl Fish. You pick two animals? I did pick two animals. Daryl Fish, he is a badass online player. He is a badass live player. And he is not even a fish. It's just his name, but it's just there. I got the bull, I got the fish. Vivek Rajkumar, Daryl Fish, they're finishing one and two, or can, two and three, or some other really combination between two, one and say, six. Can we briefly to say, like, you would think with a fight between a bull and a fish, the bull is going to win every time? No, not if they're in the water. See, the bull would just drown, and the fish would just swim circles around him. That's why Aquaman is a superhero. That's kind of what happened yesterday. It was like a big underwater battle because the play down day, Fish was getting the best of Vivek. He was getting They're the best very of good Vivek. friends. They played a bunch of pots they together. They did play a bunch uh, of pots. At first, Fish was out of position. Then when they redrew, he, he had position on Vivek. Yes, he he will have position on Vivek at the final table. And they're playing a lot of that higher level thinking kind of poker. And it should be really interesting at the final table, that particular dynamic. Which is why I think that your two are going to, one's going to cancel the other one out and maybe give the other one a chance of winning. But I'm going for the two that you'd never expect. Mostly because they have more chips than Steve Gross. No, I'm picking Steve Gross. Go ahead. I'm going to take Amir Lahabit, who chipped up like crazy on oh. the play down day. He was the one who busted Alan Cunningham. He doubled yes, he through did. Vivek and kind of sent Vivek back in the middle of the pack before Vivek busted Bakes to jump back up. Vivek was massive chip leader His for much of this swung-y. day, but it he was, took a dive. Yeah. Um, he bounced back, and that's why I picked him. And I like this Gregory Brooks kid. Gregory He's, Brooks. He seems to have a plan. Doesn't seem to find himself getting in too many, like, really coin flippy kind of spots unless he has to. So I'm going to take Gregory Brooks as much as I hate to leave. The Steve. radical, like, Vatican assassin of online poker. The warlock wonder i don't even know the words that i'm saying but they just come to mind because he's that freaking awesome steve gross steve g Boro gross is on my team legendary online player he's gonna bring it i mean he's the short stack but they're so deep it doesn't matter like he sure. is in no jeopardy of anything he's just he may be the short stack all the way to heads up but that's when he's gonna win the big stack and that's when he's gonna win this whole freaking tournament because steve Steve Gross is so awesome, like, when he's the big blind, the button plays, pays the big blind. He's like, that's, you know, ninja with his mind. This is true. Stuff. We've established in the poker world that he is the Chuck Norris of online poker. So yes, if he, he didn't is. come in sixth place, it would not shock me in the slightest. Yes, he's like the Charlie Sheen of online poker. Speaking of Charlie Sheen, it's time for question of the day. Let's do it. Oh, favorite Charlie Sheen movie? Of course. You go first. All right. I know there are a lot to choose from, but some of them are kind of dude movies. I'm going with I'm a dude. childhood favorite, Lucas. Lucas? Yeah, you know the Corey Haim one where he's got the two friends, the girl and the older brother type guy and Charlie Sheen. Yeah, it's on TBS. Charlie <laughs> Sheen is amazingly the mentor kind of older brother guy. And yeah, that's not a very fitting role for him anymore. And poor Corey Haim is so sad because he's left out. It's pretty rad. All right. Favorite Charlie Sheen movie? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now, you may ask yourself, this isn't a Charlie Sheen movie. It's a Matthew Broderick movie, and Charlie Sheen only has a small role. But that's because you're watching this Ferris Bueller. There's actually another Ferris Bueller. Charlie Sheen is Ferris Bueller, and it's not even called Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's Charlie Sheen's Day Off, and he's the one doing all this wacky stuff. And it makes Ferris Bueller's Day Off look like Ferris Bueller just went to class because it's that awesome. You're talking about Hot Shots? No, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but like the real edition. The way, the way it should be. Seen. Like when you're on the parallel other dimension kind of, like your mind just can't wrap around it, and that's not your fault because you like just have a regular mind. But if you could really wrap your mind around it, you'd see it. Okay, look, BJ, I've had a lot of fun with our Charlie Sheen zone shtick, but like now you're kind of freaking me out. So I'm gonna what? need you to take this. It's what? not that I don't trust you, but I want you to take what? this cup and I need you to fill it up and we're going to send it off. I'll do it. I'll do it right here. Oh, no, 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 I no, no. You need to go, go take your privacy. No, I, no, do, no, I got don't, 
Don't, don't touch don't, that belt. Hand out the belt. Is, Stop I, it. No. Mm -mm. I, will, I will prove to you I don't I'm need not to say on this. anything. I'm, I'm filling it up. 